Well, I'm trying to behave. <laughs> I, know. I know I said a lot of crazy don't stuff. Don't behave. Right? Please don't behave. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So how is everybody? Everyone is well yeah. in my in my circle of friends. And, well, I've got some friends that are sick with the uh, virus. Uh, oh, really? Uh, most of them are in other parts of the uh, country. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, as far as the guys I play with, as far as my family, we're all well. Yeah. I've become like this uh, this video guy. I'm all <laughs> That's so weird, you know? <laughs> I did never. I was never interested in making music videos. I never liked music videos. Uh, I never liked that that media really, and I, my brain just doesn't think that way. I liked MTV growing up, you know, when I was younger. That was kind of cool, but when it came time to like make do my own music career, I just never never cared about music videos. Did you ever make music videos? Yeah, I made them, but I never gave a damn about doing it. Um, you know, other people would come in and want to do it, and I'd say, yeah, it's fun. I've made other kind of videos. Um, oh, really? And I always, yeah, I, well, I did with, like, uh, this guy named Unknown Henson. I was in some of his early videos. Oh, were you? Yeah, and it was really fun. You know, I really enjoyed that. And, uh, wow. So, but I'm not one to plan them out. I don't really, but, you know, it's a matter of survival for us now. I mean, you're on there. Yeah. Uh, doing your shows and I am too and it's yeah. really kept you know food in the pantry yeah it really so, is uh, yeah that's exactly it's important yeah yeah I've seen so many musicians you know adapt and just learn what they have to learn to keep it going you know whatever it takes and, uh, but I've seen others that just don't seem to I don't need these damn glasses <laughs> I, I've seen others that don't seem to get the hang of it or, or have the enthusiasm for it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I always appreciate the attempt. But once you kind of do it, you get, you get a feel for it, you know, if you are open-minded, I think. I think it's a blast. I mean, I'm, I'm having a hell of a good time with it. It's kind of ideal in a lot of ways for a songwriter and a singer, you know, who just sitting in your living room or your kitchen, wherever. You know, that's the most yeah. ideal place to play music and to hear music, I think. I've used this house, um, you know, a lot of them as stages and areas. Linda's kind of got me pushed into this one room now, but I fix it. So. <laughs> She's a very patient lady. Yeah, so I know she is. <laughs> <laughs> I she says her regard. Like hey, you moved to different rooms of the house. I was I was enjoying that that party. You know why I didn't do that? Really, wasn't her at all. She's very cooperative. It's mm -hmm. the uh, the router just what kept oh, cutting in and out on me. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem is the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I love doing them outside. Yeah, uh, back in the springtime, it's too I mean, it's too hot right now. It's it morning. Yeah, it's way too hot. Yeah, I'd like to do some more outside stuff, but. It'll be a while. Well, I reckon we'll be doing this well into the winter, so. Uh, I fully expect you know. that. I fully expect it. I might just keep doing this for the rest of my life. I might just say, screw it. I'm never going out again for the rest of my life. Well, I kind of <laughs> intend to do both. I, I really intend yeah, to do both. I will continue to do both, yeah. Because I like But here's the deal. Doing this has made me practice a lot. And it's made me develop material that I wasn't playing before. Right. And, yeah. uh, which has been pretty exciting and uh, challenging at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel right unless my guts are gnawing and I've got some pressure on me, you know, about doing a good show and trying to make it fresh and not do the same stuff over and over. Exactly. Yeah, I'm the same way. And it's a lot of work. You know, you, it, it takes a lot of mental uh, preparation, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. That's the part of it, yeah. I don't think a lot if of you ain't got much mental ability anyway, like me, it's <laughs> it's really hard. It'll make you have a headache. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed all the live streams of yours I've seen. Are you doing well? Same here, man. I, I laugh my ass off. Sorry, that's good. I think you mean that. So. I'm just trying to get some laughs. Exactly. That's all. Well, I'm you're getting them from me, and I also love the music. Good, good. good. 
Yeah, but well, hell, keep it up, man. That's uh, here's the deal. A lot of those I think films, that's where we are now. That's just where we are now. We're we're not going back to what we had before. No, we're you not. know we're, we'll have pieces of it. And it'll be yeah. different. Right, it's going to be different. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not lamenting that necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be good in a lot of ways. I, I don't know. I think. I think so. I tend to 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 think positively about it. Like trans, like it's a transformational time for humanity. The whole world is going. To well, it is. And we're all doing it on a personal basis because we're many of us are isolated. You know, now we are forced to deal with ourselves. You remember leading up to the pandemic, it was all about people don't get enough sleep. You know, there's not enough time in the day to do everything you need to do. You know, people are over. The people were at a breaking point when this happened. It's almost like you could see it as if you were a certain type of person, you might could see it as this happened for a reason. That's the way exactly how I've looked at it. It took me a day or two to adjust. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I just... I've I've been run out of one occupation uh -huh. to another. I've I've kind of had that my whole life. I I used to be an attorney, and a lot of that was affected by politics uh -huh. and changes in the landscape. And I always I just learned to go with it and reinvent what I do, right? And become something new and kind of stay ahead of the changes. Yeah. And that's the way this has felt. It's nothing new to me to have to throw out what I had before and start from scratch. So yeah, uh, I, I feel that same sense of opportunity, but mm -hmm. we did need to slow down. I mean, I just yeah. think the world needed to slow down. And I, there's a lot of bad stuff goes with that. But yeah. when I look back, it seems, at least for me, I'm driving somewhere every day and I'm going to play a gig, mm -hmm. you know, four or five nights a week. And just constantly moving, move, sleep, get up, move, sleep. It was great, but I mean, it was just, we needed a rest. Yeah. I think we, as a, as a, as a species, need a rest. We're wearing the damn planet out. Right. There's and the that. planet saying, I've had enough of your shit. Right. And, you know, I'm going to slow you down. Yeah. Yeah. The tendency for, human brains to ponder conspiracies or really unrealistic the unrealistic imagination is part of what we do we have an artistic impulse where we express it and we imagine so many things as writers as creators right but some that's people, correct yeah some people don't have that 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 mind to express it artistically or creatively they and they, I think maybe they gravitate towards conspiracy theories to fill some space or some need or a yearning that they have for this, for that something unimaginable and uh, fantastic in their mind, you know. What well, ignites and opens up their imaginations. Yeah, yeah. And then it's, 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 it also gives people a way to uh, feel more comfortable with right. their beliefs. Right. Whether they be, you know, negative or positive. Right. But some people just, uh, you know, that's why you have Fox News. Yeah. Uh, or Rush Limbaugh, you can go there and hear an asshole screaming about, right. you know, how mad you ought to be. Or, uh, right. you know, you can go to MSNBC and do the same thing. I mean, yeah. I. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I don't no listen a lot these days. So, you know, I check no. it in the morning. Yeah. Then I get away from it, yeah. and I'm used to working and stuff. Now I check it at night a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I watch some kind of foreign movie in black and white and just forget them. <laughs> <laughs> me and uh, me and my friend Jeff Brown, bass player for Shiny Res, we're talking about how it does seem like we're living in some kind of a kind of a almost like a Fellini movie at times. <laughs> Well, I think Fellini's very realistic. I mean, even though he's, mm -hmm. to me, that's how life is. I mean, it's like this parade of people that come through and you follow them down a hallway and then they're gone and you go to another place and nothing's ever concluded. It's just right. like the Duke at the end of La Dolce Vita were. 
the girls motioned him, come over, come over. And he's like, fuck it, I ain't got the energy. I'm spent, man. I'm spent as baby. I'm all well, yeah, I won't say it. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. And so maybe, yeah, that, that, that impulse to uh, that manifest as conspiracy is really just people just trying to make sense of traveling through life. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, you know, I, I feel so lucky to, to be who I am and to, to do what I, I do. Yeah. Because my life is very full and uh, exciting. And, and, it, and it's happy. I'm excited by you know my imagination, just like you are. Yeah, right. And I go out, I see people, and they they just seem miserable, and and, and it's like there's nothing in their lives right. that lights them up, and it, it's sad to me. And um, yeah, you is. know, people like they they'll gravitate towards uh, people or sources that say what they want to hear to make them feel yeah. like they got some meaning. It's a crazy ass time, man. You know, I just uh, agree is. with you. We're living in a, we're living in a moment of history. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, you know it's frightening, but it's very exciting getting back to yeah. You know, I see the positive things that can come out of this. Oh yeah, I'm definitely positive about it. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> well, cool, man. Uh, it's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Yeah, we should do it again. I think uh, I'm just going to do, I, my, my idea is like, I'm just going to do like people in my neighborhood. These are the people. Oh, good, good. And just, I enjoyed this. I'm glad I didn't have to play. Yeah. Well, I thank you very much for having me. Yeah, my best to Linda. Yeah, and the same to you and all yours. Yeah. Keep old George worse straight. I like that guy. <laughs> all right, brother. <laughs>